Coach Dago. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Back out here and uh, play football again. It's been a while since you know, we played the spring game, but uh, it was good to get out here and just uh, throw around with the guys and uh, play some football. All right, first day, how do you feel you did? It was good. <laughs> I struggled a little bit in seven on seven, but I thought I played pretty well 11 on 11. Uh, I slung around a little bit and the guys had fun. Uh, everyone was doing their job and uh, it was a great day. And uh, it was obviously, you know, it's the holidays. First day at camp, so we made it fun. Or obviously, uh, I know you spent a lot of time with the plane when you came to visit here. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that experience like for you? Did you kind of make a decision, I'm just going to approach this and embrace the guy? Or... Yeah, he's, he's part of our team, man. He's one of our teammates, and most importantly, he's in our unit. And uh, that's the biggest thing, man. We're going to battle every single day. And that's the great thing about this sport. We get each other better. So I use it as an opportunity. Hey, man, this guy's going to come here. He's going to push me every single day to reach my goal. And I'm going to do the same thing for him. Yeah. You know, he's coming here, and he's going to push him every single day so we can get each other better. So that's awesome. Matilda, I mean, we got a little glimpse of him. What's he like as a person? I mean, uh, he he's Texas, Texas, man. He's Texas <laughs> as it gets. Uh, he's a great dude, man. It's great being around him uh, just to pick his brain because, you know, I'm from the Northeast and he's from, you know, Texas. He's Texas. So I just, on his visit, we talked about a lot of him being from Texas and how we grew up compared to how, you know, I grew up here in Jersey. So it's really cool. He's a really good dude. It's great being around him, just chatting about him. What's the biggest difference? The accent. <laughs> <laughs> the accent. Is it important for you, like, I mean, and if we know how close you were with Gio last year, uh -huh. have a guy like Gio and Kevin yeah. that you can kind of bounce like Yeah, that. I mean, yeah, I don't really look at it like that. I just look at it as another teammate, man. He's another teammate that we brought into our brotherhood, and we want to, you know, just like he's any other guy on our team, and I'm so excited he's here. I'm so, you know, all these quarterbacks, man, I love you guys. We're, we're brothers, so it's awesome. Are things slowing down now a little bit for you? It's year two for you. Um, John McNulty's here for a second yeah. year. Are things getting easier? Yeah, they're definitely slowing, slowing down. Definitely, definitely slowing down. Uh, I can see things happen before they do. Uh, obviously, being here a full two years or a year, whatever you want to say. Uh, being in a system again for now two years, so it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, definitely slowing down. A lot of new faces and receivers, a lot of old. I mean, what, what do you, how do you size up that group? I'm, ju I'm just, I'm just um, so proud of those guys. They they really worked hard this offseason. Uh, they really did, and I'm so proud of them. They put a lot of work with me and all the quarterbacks this season. They were committed. Uh, Raheem did a great job of leading those guys and uh, making sure they were there. So I'm really proud of them and the way they worked this offseason. How much better can this offense be? I mean, I know that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, but, but yeah. what do you see? Do you see that? Yeah. You see signs? Of course, of course. Uh, you know, the biggest thing is just, just taking reps with these guys and keep progressing every single day. We can't worry about August 30th if we get some guys. we got to worry about right now. So we're going to watch this today and we'll worry about tomorrow when tomorrow gets you. But today we're worried about today and how we can get better 1% every single day. If we can do that, then that day will come and we'll be ready to play. All right, what areas have you improved on since last year? Uh, everything. I mean, I really, everything. There was, you know, you know how it was last year. you got to improve on everything. So Coach Beam and Coach Mielke sat down and gave you a whole bunch of things to work on and I went to work and you know, trying to prove those things every single day. Is there anything on that list that you can use as like a motivating factor going into the uh, season? Just look at the stats. That's all you gotta look at. That's a motivating factor. The stats. 111. Can't happen. So that's the most motivating factor for me. You like coming out here and seeing all these more tall wide receivers? That's yeah, I mean, of course. Yeah, yeah. With the new guys, Washington, uh, King, uh, Aaron, he's like a little, he's like another Raheem, and his brother's great too. So I mean, yeah, it's awesome. Ontario, all, you know, all these guys have done a great job this offseason. They, they came in, they worked hard, and I'm just so proud of them for doing what they're doing. Now it's time to take that hard work and translate it to the field. You know, you, it's one thing just working hard. Now we got to actually translate it to the field. You know what I mean? So. Anything else? Coach Harris mentioned yesterday about uh, working out with the Navy SEALs. How much do you feel that helped you? A lot. So I actually got a chance. The Navy SEALs actually came here mm -hmm. with the APG program. I got a chance to go out to California a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. and work with some of the Navy SEALs out in California and the Navy. That helped me tremendously. Uh, speaking to those commanders and those admirals and those people that are – the SEALs are just such an elite group. Of, those are the best of the best in the world. And you just got to pick their brain and see what they do, how to talk to certain people from different backgrounds. Just how to motivate people. So that was really, really important for me, and I learned a lot from those guys. Was that just you out there in California? No, it was a bunch of other quarterbacks, too. Uh, a bunch of quarterbacks from different uh, places, uh, different schools in America. Yeah. So it was really cool. Anybody else it?